in this event as we pan around the London Stadium here where the Olympics and Paralympics were held back in 2012 and what a time that was the inspiration for a nation and one of those who inspired a nation is in this first heat of the men's 200 meters t36 it's coordination impairment it's the third strongest in the rankings in terms of physical ability that's Graeme Ballard to whom we refer the world Paralympic champion in this as well Mohamed Fusi. So for Poland in lane seven, Krzysztof Tjuska, silver in the 400 and bronze in the eight at the Europeans in Grosseto last year. Greg Ballard, who won silver here in the 100 metres at London 2012, popular athlete from Chorley near Manchester, silver in the one of the two in those most recent Europeans. Chang won some of Hong Kong in lane five, seven of the 200 metres of the Asian Games three years ago. Great name in lane four from Auckland. Keegan Pitchett, 19 years old, his first major championship. Lane three, the reigning 100 metres, world and Paralympic champion and Asian Games champion and Asia Oceania champion, Mohamed Rizwan Mohamed Tuzi of Malaysia. And in lane two, from Slovakia, Benjamin Erbad, bronze in the 100 metres of the Europeans last year. It's the top three to go through, and the next two fastest losers across both heats. World record holder is not here, Evgeny Svetsov of Russia. Well, Graeme Ballard, massively popular athlete. Silvers in the 100 and 200 in each of the last two European Championships in Swansea and Grosseto. Erban, Mohamed Puzi, Pitcher, Chan, Balad, Tsiuska, first three to qualify. Away we go, Siska left in the blocks a little bit, here goes Graeme Ballard, fabulously away. Chan not doing too badly, Pitcher moving up, Siska recovering, but Graeme Ballard's in a great position in what must be one of his most favourite sporting venues in the world. It's Ballard leading, Pitcher fighting back for New Zealand, and Siska fighting back for Poland. It's Siska, it's Ballard, and it should be Mohamed Pouzi. The world and Paralympic champion in ahead of pitcher. Good race. 24-84. Quite fast. It's around half a second outside the world record. Ballard in the lead and in control for probably 80% of that. But Chiska on the inside. Lifetime best as well. 24-84. Lifetime best by half a second. Ballard just being reeled in towards the end. And Mohamed Pouzi. So excellent, particularly over 100 metres. It was fourth in the 200 in the last World Championships in Doha. He took third. What a start by Ballard and Chuska. Slight disadvantage, obviously, having to crouch down just for the gun for a microsecond. That's due to the coordination impairment that he's suffering. It's the second most impaired category of the four standing ones. Ballard just beginning to be caught out a little bit by this stage physically and then by Juska and Pitcher unable to run down Mohamed Pouzi in third so Juski, Ballard, Mohamed Pouzi but Pitcher clocking a very good time bit of a dip there that was close Mohamed Pouzi getting that by a fraction for me by one hundredth of a second but Ballard no real problem you get nothing for a win in this apart from a slightly better lane draw but obviously he's running in home soil so wanted the win look at Juska go lifetime best for him but also for pitcher Juska Ballard Mohamed Pouzi the three to go through but a new Oceania record for Keegan Pitcher in four so what does this mean well Turner obviously goes through with that world record. Chiska, Ballard, Pereira da Silva, Pavlik, Paul Blake, 
Mohamed Fuzi and Keegan Pitcher, who finished very strongly in that opening heat, also qualifies for that Oceania record. So let's introduce everyone then. Sahani, who's uh, also a, a speed skater. Poland with a very good T20 program. So Marius Petruczka will certainly be a big candidate to watch out for. Oberai bronze in the triple jump previously. Yamaguchi, Villa Marine, a Romley of Malaysia. A Romley of Malaysia in the T20 long jump. This is the first round. Oberoi with the 683 earlier. That's a round now, Mark, definitely by Romley. Excellent effort. Well, he's a live candidate. He's a regular medalist himself. Malaysia have come very good in the past few major championships. And Abdul Latif Romley. I'll put him into the medal, certainly. Might have just put him into the lead. It has done 697. Romley in front for Malaysia. Well, there he is, not starting. No surprise there. We thought he was going to be the superman and run over and do the race and then manage to get back, but not quite. Daniel Martins goes, though, in lane three. The Paralympic and world champion over this 400 metres distance. Rodriguez Ramirez, fifth at the Paralympics, silver in this event back in Doha in 2015. He goes from seven. Of course, there is no lane six because Santos Isa does not start due to his long jump commitments. That man does, though. Kwaku of France will go in lane five. The Asian Para Games 2014 champion, Nasruddin Mode, in lane four. Daniel Martins, no introduction required there. Paralympic and world champion in the men's 400 meters T20 in lane three. And the man who came seventh in that event in Rio, Onu Kapuzlu of Turkey. T20, of course, intellectual impairment. Classification for this. First three qualify automatically. Then it's the two fastest losers over the two heats. Daniel Martins holds the championship record set in Doha two years ago of 48.27. He also holds the world record of 47.22 when winning in Rio de Janeiro in Puzlo in two, Martins in three, Mode in four, Barco in five, and Rodriguez Ramirez in seven. They all get away very sharply indeed. Daniel Martins gets off to a very good start. He's already coming up on the outside of the man from Malaysia in National Dean Mode. He's overtaken him. He's moving up very nicely indeed. Also doing well is Charles Antoine Guacu of France, who's moving through very nicely indeed. Falling back somewhat is Rodriguez Ramirez on the outside. He was silver medalist two years ago in Doha. But Daniel Martins is working his way nicely into this with around 120 metres to go. He's taken over the lead as he rounds into the home straight. Daniel Martins of Brazil, the reigning Paralympic and world champions. The battle is now on for second place. At present, it's Kouaku of France who holds on to it, but coming very fast down the outside. It's Rodriguez Ramirez. The battle is on there for second place. It's Francis Kouaku who's going to take it, though, behind Daniel Martins of Brazil, who goes through in a time of 48-88 unofficially. Does it quite nicely indeed, does the man from Brazil. But it's Charles Antoine Kouaku who takes second place there and then rodriguez ramirez will go through in third place they should be the three who automatically qualify through for the final daniel martin's confirmation of the official time there 48 87 and very happy indeed 
is he indeed. Kwaku in second for France. A solid race from him and a solid finish from that man. Delibert Rodriguez Ramirez, who was a silver medalist at the last championships in 2015. But Daniel Martins, he's got a very fluid running style. He worked his way nicely on that back straight. Came up on the man on the outside of him. Mowed straight away. Overtook him after about 100 metres. Left him behind. He hung on there, did the Malaysian. But it's Kwaku who holds him off coming home in second, but finishing very fast there of Spain in the yellow and red. Delibert Rodriguez Ramirez showing his form from 2015. Not as good last year in the Paralympics, but he's shown he's there or thereabouts at these championships. There is Mode of Malaysia, the Asian Para Games 2014 champion, next to the world and Paralympic champion, Daniel Martins. He's nicknamed Neymar because he resembles his countryman who plays football. Does look a little bit like him, doesn't he? And if he continues running like that, he might well get the kudos that the Barcelona and Brazil player gets. Confirmation then of the opening heat in the men's 400 metres T20. Daniel Martins qualifies. Charles Antoine Kankaku and Rodriguez Ramirez goes through in the automatic three qualification places. Well, there's the men's 400 metres T20. Daniel Martins, the world and Paralympic champion at the top of that list with the fastest time of 48.87 and he eased off towards the end. The man in second on those times, Charles Antoine Kouakou, also ran a very good race. Damien Castellan, who's in that T20 long jump still, lifetime best of 49.65. Rodriguez Ramirez through in fourth place. And it's Murray. Romley in the T20 long jump ongoing. Round four. Romley 697 in the opening round. Zorin Talaj our leader. 7.32 championship record, Romley going a long way, oh that's a brilliant leap, that's really put him into the mix now, that's around Talich territory, he knew he had a very big jump in him, he was knocking on the door of 7 metres, 6.90, 6.94, 6.97, his previous three attempts in ascending order, What's Romley gone and done here? He's the reigning Asian world and Paralympic champion. Is he about to win his fourth major medal in a row? He's in the gold medal position. Seven metres, 36. He's four centimetres ahead of Talic. The world and Paralympic champion, Abdul Latif Romley of Malaysia. Round five of the men's T20 long jump. Our leader with a new championship record of 7.36 in the previous round. Who is challenging that? He's got out a long way again. He's really putting it up to Zorin Talic and Dmitry Prudnikov, the other seven metre leapers of today. Very close to the plasticine, but was okay. Got the white flag, went a good way out. Closer. It would have been a good solid seven meter attempt. So we have three left to go. Romley with another championship record, 7.37. Prudnikov and Tadic to go after this. Can Romley put it beyond them? Oh, that's uh, another seven-metre effort, but not as long. It's a white flag. But Romley, having had three very good efforts early on, lying in the middle, third place throughout. He's really turned it on in the last two rounds, and that's why he's the champion he is. Asian Games, Asia Oceania, the combined championships that were in Dubai in the rain, in a... April last year, world champion, Paralympic champion.
If there was anything else available, he'd probably be champion of that as well. It's another seven meter effort. No improvement, seven meters 11. He is our leader and he is our potential gold medalist. We'll know in the next two minutes if he can stay there. Malaysia, Abdul Lati from Lee. Championship record 7.37. Talic the silver for Croatia. European area record of 7.32. And Prudnikov the bronze, 7 metres 12. <laughs> Mohamed Saifuddin Ishak. His third round attempt, 5.96 is best so far tonight. Might improve a bit there. He's close to a seven metre jumper in his career, 697. He's only 25. Malaysia having a very successful Asia Oceania Games, April of last year in Dubai at the Police Club Stadium. Five ninety three, five ninety six is best to date in the two previous rounds, but needs to improve by over half a meter just to get up to sixth place. There's magnificent success in the track they've had. Asian Games, Asia Oceania Championships that has translated into the last few global games in Doha and in Rio. Well, he's broken six metres, doesn't get any higher than seven, it's six metres, 08. So the fourth round, Mohamed Safadin Ishak in seventh position, 608 with his first. 6.97, a lifetime best, so some distance off that. That one, not much different to his first jump. Crowd really building, as you can see in the background here at London Stadium. Biggest crowd we've had so far. Fifth session of these championships, third day. How time flies. Takes longer for the measurement because it's manual. improvement for Ishak. It's not six metres exactly. It's day seven. Man in seventh place for Malaysia, Mohamed Saifuddin Ishak. Well, consistency in his marks as well, but 6.08 is his best to date. Fifth in London 2012, silver at the Asian Games and in Shion in 2014. So Ishak on the way. Out. That'll be a no jump. And he stays in seventh place. Just got the rhythm slightly wrong. They've got those uh, tiger print, very distinctive tracksuit. So Saliaf wins a new Asian record, seven meters 18. Tobias Jonsson, silver for Sweden, 6.99. Sergei Berdikov, the bronze for Belarus, 6.77. glorious evening in London and another great memorable night of athletics 
The crowd dispersing. Great Britain's eighth gold medal claimed tonight by Johnny Peacock brilliantly in the 100 metres. But we saw great high jump glory as well for the United States. And two gold medals for Ireland, putting them onto page one. Thanks again to Smith and McKillop. Two goals for Morocco. Great glory for them today in the 5,000 metres. German gold for Ingrid Ben Suzanne, her first in a major global championship. Diana Dizite with that throwing gold for Latvia yesterday. Iran with glory tonight in the shot put. Sweden, thanks to Jonsson, Tobias Jonsson winning uh, their second medal of the games. 48 nations have medaled already here. It's only day three.